I'm Mr. Grinler. And I'm Mrs. Grinler. And, and this is Grinler's Creatures. And welcome back to another episode of Grindler's Creatures. But on today's episode, we have a package from Ants HQ. But before we get into that package, I just want to talk a little bit about my experience with ants. So I haven't actually showed any ant footage on this channel, apart from maybe back at seas when I actually showed the, the, the ant sort of colony that we got. And then the same with the previous show footage for Bedford. Um, but I'll get into that in a minute. But before both of them shows, I remember Ants HQ a couple years ago actually contacted me and they said, oh, you know, do you fancy doing a video for us? And they sent out a little starter, you know, test tube kit. It was a starter nest sort of thing. Because it had the, had like the Outworld. Is that what they're called, the Outworld? This is what I mean, my experience. I'm pretty sure it's the Outworld, yeah. So the Outworld, and then you had like the little tube bit where the ants were in so they could come out, you know, obviously get the food and that and then go back in where it's nice and dark where the queen will be. Unfortunately, my experience with that wasn't that great and that colony isn't around anymore. And yeah, it was a bit of trial and error. It was all my own fault. I own up to that. But since then, I've done a lot more research and that's when I started getting the one from C's. And that was a bit slow to kick off, but that is absolutely booming now. And I can't wait to show you that colony down the line. On top of that, I've got a really funny story to tell you. So me and Charlotte was out in the garden a couple months ago, just having a coffee, you know, sat on some chairs. And on the, on the pavement, I was like, no, there was a queen ant roaming across the pavement. And I was like, Charlotte, keep your eyes on that. I went in, got a catch cup, came out, captured it, put it in a test tube and boy, that is absolutely thriving now and it, I don't know it's just it was amazing it was absolutely amazing I felt like a little kid it was like Christmas it was absolutely brilliant so looking back years ago my ant experience was absolutely terrible didn't have a good time of ants but recently it's been absolutely brilliant and like I said I can't wait to show you a couple videos down the line because I'm going to give you all a little update on all muscle ant collections at the minute but for today's episode, we have something very, very exciting. So when I went to Bedford, it's the Eastern show, isn't it? Never eat shredded wheat. I'm sort of southeast, but yeah, east. So the Eastern invert show, Bedford, was absolutely brilliant. So when I got there, I quickly ran in and uh, I started recording the stalls before they opened up, you know, before they got savaged. And Ant HQ pulled me to one side and they were like, oh, you know, we've spoken about it a couple of times at previous shows about doing a collab in the future. And they were like, oh, you know, do you want to take something home with you today? Do a video. And that's what we're going to be doing today. But I don't want you guys to think, you know, I'm just going to say all good things about this. I like to think when I do like a little collab or a review on saying, I'm pretty honest. And I must admit, I've already built this and I've got a bit of criticism to say. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Sounds really bad now, actually. I bet Ants HQ is like, <laughs> it's nothing too bad, honestly. It's just my opinion. And I'm going to be honest, just like Ants HQ has asked me as well, you know, we're not beating around the bush here. We're doing a genuine review. But I will say my experience with Ants HQ has been absolutely brilliant. You know, when I go to a show, they're nothing but nice to me. And they're nothing but nice to pretty much everyone that goes up to the store. You know, I've had times where I've, I've been standing there and, you know, they're interacting with their customers. They're giving them all the information. And that's what I like to see. Because, you know, there's sellers out there that will just sell anyone anything. And they actually spend the time with you. So that's one thing I really like about these guys. Just don't let the guys on Ants HQ intimidate you. You know, they're quite, quite big guys, as you see. But I will say a massive thank you to Ants HQ for sending this package across because now all you guys, the viewers, my community, you can see what Ants HQ is all about. So to kick this video off, we're going to have a little look at Ants HQ at the show. I managed to get some footage of some of the setups they had there and, you know, of their stall. And I must admit, their stall is absolutely brilliant. But yeah, have a look at some of this footage and then we'll get straight into that package.
So what did I say about their stall? You know, them, I, I don't know what they're called, they're like the box lights at the, at the back. And I don't really know how it works. I'm assuming there's a light inside and then obviously you've got the thing on the front so it sort of lights it up. Absolutely brilliant. It actually makes that stall stand out so much. It's just a shame that where they was, it was a pretty dark area if I'm honest. Just like where Day's, uh, Day's Little BCs was. It was right in the corner of the room and the light was pretty poor in that corner. So the footage, you know, wasn't the best. But uh, it's quite hard when you're out and about getting that camera settings spot on. So I guess now we're going to go down to the table and we are going to have a look at this package. so excited for this so uh, I've already had a little peek inside so while I say I'm excited I'm just excited to set this up I'm excited to get these ants in it oh it's gonna be so good so uh, let's have a look if we open up the box right so open it up again it's a bit hard because I've got this tripod here and it's like getting in the way right so We'll open it up straight away and uh, this is the setup that came with it so the well actually if I just move this box quickly just there it's probably easier if just lay it out here for you guys so the I'm probably gonna butcher this but the my my room memory me, 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 one ants nest I don't even know. So getting to know your ant farm. And uh, I really like this because it explains pretty much everything for you. So it's got the forage, forage, oh my God, I'm gonna butch, foraging, 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 foraging area, that's it. So an area which worker ants will explore to hunt, feed and drink. Then you've got the micro mesh, so it allows for sufficient ventilation whilst preventing escapees. You've got the light switches, so three light switches can be alternated to your needs. Hydration portal, so using the syringe provided, inject water into the small portal to the hy hydrate the nest. Then you've got the entrance, so entrance connecting the inner nest and foraging area. And then you've got the hydration chamber. So the water travels downwards and accumulates into this well for ants to drink as well as to provide a humidity gradient. Absolutely brilliant. So what I was saying was I've actually got this set up, but it's the three tier one. So this is the two tier. I've got the three, uh, three tier one and that's for some other ants. Again, I'm gonna show you that at a later date. But do I show the ants that are going in this first or do I set this up first? Choices, choices. Let's carry on looking in the box, actually. And then, if you look at the back, we weren't finished. So, peel off. To avoid any scratches on your, yeah, whatever it is, ant nest, it would arrive with a protective brown film. Simply peel the layer off before setting up your home, your nest, sorry. Uh, so create a home. It's now time to create a comfortable home for your little empire, uh, carefully. So assemble and ensure the mesh is tightly fitted uh, attach a foraging, at foraging area to, nest, uh, to the nesting area via magnets. Attach the viewing panel. Use syringe provided. Fill up the hydration chamber with water until the water droplet just rises above the mesh. And then using the syringe again, 6mm, hydrate the nest through the entrance hole. Set in the water dispenser in the foraging area. And then moving your colony. Your empire is now ready. Uh, now as exciting as this is, it's important to remain calm and swift. Gently place the tube inside the foraging area and open the cap. The ants will ex explore and make their way to the nest. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing I've always struggled with, getting ants into their colony. It is a long, long, long wait, just waiting for them to get out. So maintenance, as your colony settles in, you can begin feeding them with insects slash ants slash jelly slash other food. Uh, every four to six days depending on their hunger it is important to hydrate the nest every seven to ten days and then we go down to step five which is sleep mode so ants like many other living beings 
uh, also sleep. We advise to turn off lights at night to replicate nature when not observing. Simply place the red acrylic over the nest. Did you know ants can't see through red? No, I did know that. I didn't, but I do know that. Because every ant's nest I've got is that what they're called, ants' nests? That's a good one. So every ants' nest that I've got, it always had a little red film over it. So I absolutely love that they put this inside their box. It explains how to set the whole thing up. So let's have a look. What else is inside? Oh, really? Discover the world of ants to join the ant keeping revolution. Look at that. Is that a Facebook group? Oh. Have to join that. Bug fest at your doorstep. And then some ants just there. Absolutely brilliant. And then, you've got that little card. And I really love the feel of this. I don't know if you can actually see what the texture's like. You can't feel it, but you might be able to see it. Absolutely brilliant. Now, um, I was saying to him at the show, their footage recently on their, their Instagram and that, it, it's outstanding. Their macro footage is absolutely brilliant at the minute. So I'm assuming this is the two parts. So I'm probably gonna have to set this up on a tripod. Well, let's get it out first. So we'll place that just down there. Replace that one. Just there. Now you guys are probably thinking, where's the ants? Where are the ants? Where are the ants? No, I'm joking. <laughs> the, uh, the ants are just beside me. So yeah, let me get rid of this box. And then I'm gonna show you a little sneak peek of these ants before we start building this setup. Right, so the ants are just down here. I don't think you're gonna be able to pick it up on this camera very well because this is not a macro lens. Although you can see a little bit just here. See if I can get a bit closer. So yeah, without using my macro lens, you can see the ants just here. And, oh my God, I'm gonna butcher this. So these are called the Camp Campanotus Castaneus. Oh, I don't even know. So they're the uh, red carpenter ant. Now uh, you guys think I, you know, I'm bad with tarantula names, but ant names are just absolutely crazy. So yeah, the Campanotus Castanesis, whatever it is. We're just gonna call it the red carpenter ant. And these look absolutely beautiful. When I was at the show, and uh, he was showing me all the ants, these ones just stood out. So the queen has got such nice colors on her. And I don't wanna leave her out for too long because, you know, I've tried to keep these separate in the dark um, because I know how much these guys don't like the light. And uh, I don't want to disturb them too much. And I, I didn't want to rehouse them straight away either um, because of all the stress from the show, obviously the car journey home, um, it was pretty stressful for them. So I thought I'd just leave them in a dark corner, um, all wrapped up just so they can settle in. But there is some more brood in there as well. And there's quite a few workers. So today we're gonna be putting them in that enclosure after we set it up. I'll just go over some, some little stats that I saw at the obviously Ants HQ store. Uh, so they're from North America. Uh, they are 24 to 27 degrees uh, Celsius. The humidity is at about 60 to 70 percent that they recommend. And their description for it is dark red, slow growing, and polymorphic. So I'm going to show you a little sneak peek of some closer footage, and then we're going to get straight into building this nest.
tape a little bit. Okay. All right, that's one. Lots of bubble wrap. Second package. Okay, I like that. You can see it there, can't you? Okay, so I guess now I'm gonna do kind of like a little time lapse, just building this up. Now that it's all out, it's all in pieces. Um, it does come with like a syringe and that inside. Uh, there's some jelly inside as well, but. This looks a bit more complicated to what I bought last time because when I bought it last time it was pretty much already together. Um, but this looks like I actually do need to build it properly. And uh, what I find quite fascinating is this bit here. You can see it. So I wonder if I can see it on my other one. I'm going to have a look. Yeah, you can see it on the other one. I've never actually noticed that, but yeah. This is awesome. You can actually stick your fingers in there. It's awesome. I love the feel of this as well inside. Feels like really nice texture. Uh, right, let's get this packing peanut stuff out. And you know what? I haven't actually connected up my lights with the other one. Well, I don't know what the, all this is. Is that a spare bulb? I don't know find out in a No getting through that. That is tight as, and then that just sits on the top, I think, like that. My other one's screwed on. This one is magnet, that's mad. I actually quite dig it, but that is mad, because imagine, imagine you actually, whoa, look. You could like, if you accidentally, you gotta be careful how you pick this up, all right? Because You'd have to pick it up from here. Not that you should be picking these up. You know, once they're there, they should be there unless, you know, I'm bringing it down to the table. But that is, I like it. It's cool. I like, it's a strong magnet, but if you pick it up from there, boom. All hell's breaking loose. <laughs> Can I pop it through? Oh, there you go. Pop it through with that. And then that goes like that. So again, there is no space between this little hole just there. I can see down there and it fits perfectly as well. That's good, that's good to see. But it's pretty cool because actually if you wanna sort of clean this out, just that bit, you can put a cap in the top there. That's good, or say if this breaks or something, you could actually replace it. It's pretty cool.
you know, you can actually get access inside by doing that. And that is a very strong magnet just there. You can actually go all inside. I dig that. That is a strong magnet, 100% there. So one thing I really liked about all of this was actually building the enclosure itself. So when I went to the actual sea show and I got an ant set up from them, it was already built. So being able to actually build this one made it a lot more interactive for me. You know, it felt like I was actually achieving something. I was doing it. I was building it. I'm building their home. So uh, I think that's one good thing. Keep doing that. So I was actually talking to Ants HQ the other day and I was saying it's really bizarre because I've actually got their small Ants HQ set up. Well, actually, I've still got the start. Yeah, I've got the starter one, so the starter kit. Then I've got like the next one up, and then I've got their medium one, which is the one that we got now. So that's the two tier one, and then I've got their three tier one as well. Absolutely brilliant. I wonder if they do a four tier. But, uh, yeah, honestly, I had so much fun recording this video, but there is some more because we haven't actually put the ants in yet. So my one bit of criticism about all of this, and that's probably because I've got one of the other setups, is the other setup I got from Seas, obviously it was already built, but it's not magnetic whatsoever. Where it's magnetic, you know, if you accidentally pick it up from the top, that, that, that outworld is coming off. And uh, the front of it as well, you know, if you accidentally, you know, knock saying that whole front's gonna come off, and then the ants are completely exposed and they can get out. But at the same time, I was thinking, it's actually a good idea. Because it's easier to actually clean it out. So, you know, if you want to take the outworld off, you can take the outworld off and just cover that hole. You know, put one of them little plastic things in it, boom, they're not going to get out, and then you can properly clean that outworld. I think that's what it's called in an outworld. So while I say, you know, it's probably not the best thing having it magnetic, but that's mainly because it's more, you know, say like if it's a teenager or a kid. Then again, you wouldn't really see many kids with ants, maybe. You have adult supervision. Yeah, maybe I'm just being a little picky here. I personally dislike and like the fact. Like I said, you can clean it. But I think, you know, someone who might be in like a rush or like, eh, 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 you know, if some friends come around and go, whoa, look at this, and they pick it up and, Pah! yeah, massive, massive mess. So that's my one bit of criticism at the minute. But again, there's a positive on it. But now we've built it, it is now time to get these ants in. And this bit, it was absolutely, it was crazy. It's absolutely amazing. I was sending Ants HQ some voice notes, you know, because it's, it's um, I must admit, it's taken a couple days. Um, I'll explain it all in a minute, but yeah, it is, I was like a kid. Like I said, it's like Christmas. I, I'm absolutely hooked on ants at the minute. So enough talking. Let's have a look.
so now the lights are off, it's time to wait. The queen with the workers will come out in their own time. It could be hours, days, or sometimes even longer. So the next morning I checked, they were all hiding in the tube still. Day two, same again. Day three, the exact same. And well, day four, the queen, workers, and brood have all left. So now was the perfect time to remove their tube. So now enjoy some footage a week into their new home.
so that is all the footage for today's episode guys i really do hope you enjoyed this video like i said absolutely amazing but my overall sort of review on this whole thing is pretty much perfect if i'm honest apart from that one bit of criticism but again there's a positive out of it so it's not actually that bad i'm just used to them being fully built where they're not magnetic and you can't take it off so that's my opinion on it but other than that the nest is built absolutely brilliant you know the instructions in the box couldn't be more spot on like i said they take the time to actually teach you how to do this sort of thing they're not like here you go just on your own way they're actually helping you here so once again i want to say a massive thanks to ants hq for sending this package over just thank you for thinking of me you know it's really appreciated and i've really enjoyed doing this video as you know and for any of my viewers who are, are interested in ants hit ants hq up honestly i message them and they're nothing but helpful and they've been like it for years you know they're not just being helpful because i'm doing a video they've always been like it so check them out on instagram check them out on facebook you know they've got tiktok as well i'll put all the links down in the description for them but just drop them a little message or even go on their website start your ant journey today because i'm really happy that i've started mine and i'm sure you're all going to see a lot more ants on this channel because i'm digging it i'm loving it it's going to be ants and tarantulas. <laughs> I've still got to show my reptiles, to be fair. But we'll get on to that at a later date. So thank you very much for watching, guys. So if you could like, comment and share, that would be absolutely great. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon so you're notified of when I upload next. And don't forget, down in the description, we've got a link for our link tree. It's got all our social medias on there. It'd be great if you go and check it out. It's free to support us. But Mr. Grindler's down here. Charlotte's not here because, you know, she hates ants. So I'll say bye on her behalf. And I'll say bye from all our creatures. Have a great week, guys. You all deserve it. Peace.